and welcome to another video. My name is Lexi if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. What is that? Jerry's reflect vest. Anyways, either way, I am so glad that you guys are here and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do. Um, it is currently 8.47 in the morning. I went and got breakfast. Ignore this pimple patch. This zit has been gnarly and won't go away. So we're going to see if we can get some stuff out of it so it'll go away. But today we are going to try and finish baby prep and get ready for him to get here because I'm hoping like it's not going to be long. But I'm prepping pretty, not really early, I'm actually pretty much on time, but relatively early because Dre and I were both just about two weeks early um, and we were first babies. So um, I know typically first time moms carry to their due date or past and if I do that's fine I guess, but I'm going to prep in case I don't. We are pretty much finished with the nursery. What we have to do, like main things, is pack the hospital bags and get them in the car and then fix our cars, like get the car seat bases in and locked and secured um, and all that. The car seat and the car seat base, if you watched my previous video, is already in my car, except for we didn't put down the little seat protector that goes under it to protect the car seats. Um, and so we got to take it out, put that down, and then put it back in. So, those are the main two things that I have to get done. The nursery, um, really honestly, there's not anything to do in the nursery. We have bassinet sheets that should have been delivered yesterday and a laundry hamper, which we didn't realize that the changing table that Dre's godmom gave us has a laundry hamper on it. So, Dre's mom had ordered us a laundry hamper. Um, so, now we have two. Perfect. Um... But anyways, the plan today is to get all of that done and to do a little nursery tour with you guys. And I'll tell you where I've got everything from um, and I will put links in the description. Just to be transparent with you guys, I do get commission off of my Amazon storefront. So if you buy off of that, um, it's not more expensive for you. I just do get commission from that. All of the other links I do not get commission from. So anything I've gotten from Target or anything like that. Um, is not commission but just to give you guys a heads up and to be transparent i'm not trying to cheat you out of money or anything like that um so let's go ahead and get started i also have a little bit of laundry to put up that's like new clothes that we got um but first we're gonna run to the package room and see if we have our packages okay so it says that i don't have any packages and I checked Dre's box too, so, or his password thing. So we're gonna go to the front and check our mailboxes because that's separate from our package area. We're going to do that and see if um, we have anything up there. Which I don't see how a laundry basket would fit in our mailbox, but maybe Dre's mom had the wrong address. Okay, so we got one package, and I think that is the sheets for the bassinet. So, I'm going to text Dre's mom and see if she sent it to our new apartment or accidentally sent it to our old one, which is fine. Our name is still in lease. So, these are the bassinet sheets that I got. I needed them in a specific size that wasn't like the super standard size. Um... It was like a couple inches off. So I ordered these and I got two. Okay, so it is actually almost four o'clock and we have food on the way. Um, we've spent the day since Dre got home um, working on his first YouTube video. So we're, we got that posted um, and I was helping him like edit and do all that because I'm familiar with the software from my YouTube. Um, so I was helping him with that and we got it uploaded. And my whole body has been hurting so bad today um so i haven't really done much work in the nursery i am actually going to fold some laundry in a little bit but that's probably all i'm gonna get done today um and then hopefully i'll feel better tomorrow i'm gonna lay on the heating pad and hydrate and all that good stuff to try and like help it out but 
hopefully I can get up at a decent time tomorrow and get some stuff done. Oh, excuse me. Anyways, um, but yeah, that will, hopefully I can start at least get most of the hospital bags packed and then get my car situated. Um, and then I can put the stuff for Dre's car in my car. That way we can just go down and flip flop it um, when he gets here instead of having to like make an extra trip down there. Um, oh, update. The laundry basket got delivered to our old apartment. So I'm going to go pick that up in the morning. Um, and then I think that's it. I will see you guys in a little bit for some laundry and then I will see you tomorrow for the rest of it. Okay, ignore what I look like. I have not washed my hair in quite some time, but um, we're dressed and ready for the gym. I just dropped Dre off at the gym because he um, is doing, he's doing, um, chest and back and running so I know his workout is gonna be longer than mine because I'm just walking um and I'm not gonna sit here and want to walk for an hour and a half um straight especially because my body's been really tired and my body still doesn't feel the best today but I want to get some movement in to see if that would help so I dropped him at the gym and um I'm going over to the old apartment because we're closer to the old apartment when we go to the gym to pick up the laundry basket that got shipped there and then we're gonna go by the vitamin shop and pick up um we're gonna see if they have the clear protein from clean simple eats um not that that matters for this video but that is what i'm doing right now and i'm so used to vlogs i'm just telling you everything but um when we get home i'm gonna actually do the laundry hopefully if i'm filling up to it and feeling okay um but we did bring down the because i did not get to the laundry last night but then we brought down, um, when we came down to get in the car, we brought down the rest of the stuff that needs to go in both of our cars. Um, so I'll probably sort that before we go back up and make sure our cars are situated. And then go upstairs, do the laundry, and work on maybe packing hospital bags is the plan. So um, that's kind of the game plan for the day, baby stuff wise. So. Um, let's go pick up this laundry basket and um, I will talk to you guys back at home. So you're probably gonna hear Dre in the background a little bit, but it is currently, but it is currently 1:30, and we had lunch, um, and then I've showered. I washed my hair because it had been like 11 days, I think. We are going to unbox the laundry basket, put up his clothes, and then do a little research and watch some stuff on what to pack in a hospital bag, like to make sure that I have everything. And then we're gonna pack a hospital bag. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the people mowing in the background, but they're mowing outside of our apartment. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you, I did not get a hospital bag packed last night. I talked on the phone with my brother, um, but I did get a list made. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I've gotten um, for the hospital bag and then read off what I'm packing. Disclaimer, I'm an overpacker. I feel comfortable overpacking. I don't care to like narrow it down. I don't care what people 
think are overrated. I'll find out what I like and what I don't like, but I would rather have it there than not. So if you think I'm overpacking, I know I'm overpacking. Um, if you think there is something that you really, really enjoyed having or you really, really needed at the hospital that I don't have, please let me know so I can overpack even more. So I chose the, after research, um, the Mom Cozy S9, I think. Yeah, S9 Pro um, wearable pumps. I plan on exclusively pumping, so not breastfeeding at all, um, but pumping and giving my baby breast milk. I got these through insurance and my insurance covered them. I got them off of Babylist. That's a really good resource because um, you can put in what insurance you have and it will give you a list of what your insurance covers or how much of certain ones your insurance will cover, all of that stuff. So um, highly recommend looking on there. They also have like reviews and stuff. I also checked like third party reviews um, and ended up going with this one. However, I will link these on my Amazon storefront just so you can see which ones specifically that I got and you can read about them. But don't order them from Amazon unless you have checked with your insurance first, okay? Just to let you know. Next, I got this Mom Cozy nursing slash pumping bra. Um, since I'm not nursing, I don't really care about the nursing part, but I was very adamant about getting one that I could fit my pumps into and wear. Um, so this one's super comfy. The only thing is I do wish that this back strap was a little like wider, um, but that's not enough of an issue for me to not buy more. So um, this is really cool because you can unhook this first little piece and it just lengthens it and gives you room to put your breast pump in there. Then you can also unhook the second little piece and it gives you like full access without your whole bra coming off. Um, so very interesting, very easy, very neat. I like this bra a lot. It is super soft and very comfortable. The band is not really tight. Um, I am currently, I was a D to double D before pregnancy. I'm currently a triple D and I will probably get bigger. Um, but this I got in an extra large, I think, and it fits really well. So, um, just for sizing reference, um, but I'm also, I was a 36 to 38 around, depending on the bra, um, and now I'm a 40 around, so I'm a 40 triple D currently, and this fits really well, so it's an extra large. Um, I'm not sure what their sizing guide says, but it is about $50 for a good nursing bra. I'll take it. They also have really good shape. It doesn't make you look like you're wearing a sports bra or wearing something that's like a granny bra. Um, so I really, really recommend this. I like it a lot. Um, I've heard several people say to get an extra long charger. So I got, I think this one's 15 foot. I don't know. Anyways, this one fits the iPhone 15. So I'll link it in my hospital bag list on my Amazon storefront just so you can have it but it's literally just a random charger it's a fast charger um, but I think it's the 15 foot one so I got that I got some silverette cups because I've heard that those are a lifesaver I don't know that I'll actually need these at the hospital but I'm packing them just in case I need them all right so next are the freedom mom things that I bought I've heard wonderful things about these products and I will let you know how I like them when I'm postpartum and can give you some experience but um, these are products that are not necessarily needed, but make things a little easier. And I am all about being as comfortable as possible. So I got the Perry bottle. Um, a lot of moms say that this one, because of the curvature, is a lot better than the Perry bottle they give you at the hospital. So I bought this so that I could have it. Um, I also got the perennial healing foam. That is the witch hazel and, um, hemorrhoidal cream speeds healing reduces swelling no harsh chemicals and i think it's pretty soothing so i got this foam and i've seen a lot of moms put it directly in like the pad in your like diaper or underwear whatever you're using um just to have some pain relief down there especially if you tear or something um i also got the disposable underwear i just got one pack because um i think a lot of a lot of what I've heard is that you aren't in, like my mom said that she wasn't in like 
um, pads and she wasn't bleeding for a really long time. It was just a lot when it happened. So, um, I got some of the underwear because a lot of moms say that these are more comfortable than regular underwear and they are disposable so you don't have to worry about like washing them or whatever and that it, they just feel really good. So they're like boy short things. And then I got these. These are the um, Instant Ice Maxi Pad. So it is a maxi pad so it's absorbent but also it is like an ice pack. So I've heard moms rave about these and say that they're like a must have. Um, and I know it's probably not needed, but again, I would rather be comfortable. So I got these. Um, so I've seen moms like shake these up and pop them, get them ready, and then stick them in the underwear and put the foam on them and then wear them that way. Um, so we're going to try these out. I also didn't get a huge pack. Like I got it as eight instant pads in there because I know the hospital will give you some pads um, and I don't feel like I'm going to need them that long. If I end up needing them, I'll just order more. So. so that is all the stuff that I ordered from Amazon. I also have some nursing pads over there that are from Target. They're just like the generic Target brand. And then I got um, some nipple butter, the Earth Mama. I will link that in my Amazon storefront, but I bought it at Target. I just know it's available both places. Um, and I'll give you the Target link just to be safe, just in case that's what you want instead. So I'm a big list person. This is my list of packing for everyone. Um, and I've looked through some like lists that moms have made, like here's what I would pack, here's what I packed, all that stuff, especially like second and third time moms. Um, but anyway, so we got my chargers. I'm gonna pack toiletries, shower shoes. I'm gonna take my camera. Um, I have some pajamas that I got that are like really soft, they're big, they button down the front, um, but I also have a nursing gown. Um, I got my Freedom Moms, I'm going to get my Freedom Mom stuff, my breast pumps, and my nursing bra. Uh, I'm going to pick a going home outfit, which is probably not going to be anything special, it's going to be something super comfy. Um, I'm going to pack my nipple butter, some chapstick, uh, my breast pump bags. Uh, just in case my supply comes in. I have a lot of like sample packs of them So I'm just gonna throw one of the sample packs in there just so I have it just in case um, I'm gonna take my stroller fan just in case I get hot because I get hot very easily um, So I'm gonna have that which is already in my diaper bag. I think so um, I'm gonna pack that and take it just in case I Need a fan I'm gonna take socks a sweatshirt um, some hair bows, my pillow, because I don't go anywhere without my pillow. I love my pillow. My medicines, um, I'm going to take a towel and washcloth because a lot of people say that, like, the hospital ones are really small and they're not, like, really great. They're, like, hospital quality. So, um, I'm definitely going to take that just in case. I don't know our specific hospital. I haven't talked to anybody who's given birth there, but I'm going to take mine just in case. I'm going to take my water bottle. I'm going to ask my doctor if um, I need to take my own stool softener or if I need to, or if the like hospital will provide that or if it's cheaper for me to take it, take my own versus take the hospital. Um, I'm going to take an extra bag just in case they give us stuff at the hospital. I've heard some hospitals will give you a lot of stuff. Um, my nursing pads, ID and, and medical paperwork, all of that. So that's my packing list for me. Um, then for Dre, his chargers, some clothes, his bonnet or do rag, whatever he wears or decides to wear, pillow, blanket, um, which he's not super picky about pillows and blankets, so he may just use what they have at the hospital. And he can always run here if he needs it. Um, his water bottle and some snacks because last thing I need is for him to be hungry or him to be passing out while I'm giving birth because I don't need you to to have a medical emergency you need to eat a lot of moms I've seen are like no like if I am hungry you got to be hungry like I'm going through labor this is the hard part for me like all this stuff and while I get that like it is harder for us I love my husband I don't ever want him going hungry 
if I can't eat, which a lot of hospitals I think let you eat now, but if I can't eat for some reason, that doesn't mean I want you suffering too. Like, why would I want my husband to suffer while I'm in labor? I want him at his tip-top shape so he can help me. That's bizarre to me. It's giving, I don't actually like my husband. Anyways, so that's all that I have for Dre. Um, and obviously his toiletries and stuff. For Zaire, I have onesies. I'm going to pack a few diapers because I feel weird not packing diapers. Like, I know that they have diapers at the hospital and they're probably going to provide them, but I just feel weird not having them. So I'm going to pack a couple diapers. Um, I'm going to pack a couple bottles too. Uh, sound machine, we had the little hatch portable one. So I'm going to just hook that to the diaper bag and take that. Um, socks, mittens, hats, bibs, burp cloths, swaddles, passies. Um, and our car seat cover, obviously our car seat is already in our car. You saw that. Um, and that's all I have right now. That's all that I can think of. Um, so just making sure that I have everything. I know that the hospital will provide stuff, but I would rather be more prepared than less prepared. Also, I don't want anyone to have to run back to the apartment and grab stuff if they don't have to, you know? So I think now I'm going to do a little nursery tour, tell you where I got everything, um, and then close up the video. I think in the description, I'm going to link um, my hospital bag list because there's only so many characters that I can use and I don't know if, I don't want to run out of like the amount of words that I can use in the description. I'm gonna not be able to give you all of the links. So I'm gonna put all of my hospital bag stuff that I've showed, shown you into a list on my Amazon storefront so that you can shop that. Um, and then I will do the same thing with the nursery stuff like furniture and all that and then if you have watched my previous videos and you see something that you really like from our registry I will also make a list for our registry and link that below and then any other links like things from Target or um, I'll try to find the ones from TJ Maxx I'm not really sure um, but I will try my best for that um, and if I can find those links those will be down below too so just a little heads up for the organization. Everything that I know where it's from and can get a link for, I will link below. We're gonna start at the door and just kind of work our way around. Here is our laundry basket and it's got clean clothes in it that I need to hang up and I haven't done that yet. Um, but I will post a picture right here because it looks a little funky because it has been wadded up in the box from yesterday. But um, I will put a picture here. That's from Amazon. These are our diaper bags. This one is the one that Dre's mom bought and I think we're gonna let her keep that one because I picked one out for our registry and we've got like 12 billion and this one's a little manlier. Dre's gonna carry that one. So next is our dresser. Um, we have everything organized. Here's our burp cloths. Um, we don't even know if he'll take a passy, but we have plenty of passies. Passy holders, passy wipes. This is a random drawer of like the stuff for attaching this to the wall when that time comes. Um, socks, bibs, hats. And then for each of these drawers that have like the sizes on them, we have um, sleepers and then if there's any extra sleepers, but then long sleeve onesies, short sleeve onesies. Okay, so that's kind of the organization for all of these drawers. We have newborn, zero to three month, three to six month, six to nine, and then nine to 12. And then in this basket, we have swaddles and crib sheets. So these are swaddles, these are crib sheets and things. This is for teething and like feeding stuff for when he gets a little older. And then this is all of our wraps and carriers. I do plan on baby wearing quite a bit. So this dresser also comes with little hooks for the side. And it comes with this little thing of like, I don't even know what to call these, little pockets. But that is from Amazon. These little um, things do not come with it. I just wrote on the paper in there. But they're from Target, so I'll link those. This I think is from Amazon, but it's from our baby shower. I will check and if I can find the link, I will. But it was like our guest book type thing. Um, this was a gift. All of this stuff is like my stuff. Um, this is our changing table. This was a gift that was 
like barely used so I'm not sure where it's from but this is our changing pad I went with the foam one instead of the mattress with the sheets because this one you can just wipe down and it's waterproof I don't know why my camera won't focus anyways you can wipe that down it's waterproof this was a gift I have no idea where that's from or how to link it then we have our crib our crib is a four in one like convertible crib. So you do have to buy some extra parts if you want to convert it, but it goes to a toddler bed, to a day bed, to a full size bed. Um, but the crib and the crib mattress are from Target. The sheets that we bought and the mattress cover is from Amazon. This is our boppy pillow and it is from Amazon. I will not have this in here when he's sleeping in the crib, I will move it but this is just where I'm hanging it right now. Then we have these little um, paintings up there and they're from Amazon as well. This is our little um, baby monitor. We decided to mount it and it is actually super cool. So I will definitely link that one. So then we have our rocking chair, which I love. This blanket was a gift. I don't have a link for it. And then this little hidden side table that doesn't totally match but I just wanted something to put his little nightlight on and my water in the middle of the night so this little table is from TJ Maxx I'll try to find a link but I'm not sure if I'll be able to and this nightlight is from Amazon so I'll link that then on either side of our windows we have these little shelves with books um, those are from Amazon so I'll link those we got a four pack and then here on this little underneath the window we have this little three cubby thing um, and I got it off of Amazon as well. These baskets that we have are from TJ Maxx so I will try my best to find a link. And then this is our little baby book. You've probably seen it before if you watched my Mother's Day vlog but my mom got us this and I think it's off of Amazon so I'll link it if it is. The little organizer that the sleepers are in those are all from Amazon as well. Um, and I'll link those. I will probably find better ones. I don't love those. There's also one down in here You can't tell because I have so many socks, but there is a small one right here trying to hold the socks and mittens. So this is his closet We have diapers Clothes his little clothes are separated by sizes um, And I can link those things too because they're from Amazon then we have a pack and play which was a gift um, that was slightly used and I don't know where that's from. Our bouncer, I do know where that's from, that's from Amazon. Um, and then this is our workout stuff that we don't have storage for. Then all of this stuff was gifted, I don't know where it's from, and then our blankets that were also gifted. So that is everything in our nursery and I absolutely love it. I love how simple it is. And the only thing that I may actually get at a later date is some more wall decor maybe like a name sign and maybe a rug if I can find one that I like but I haven't been able to find one that I love so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some inspiration or maybe reminded you of some things and if you have any suggestions please comment down below because I am a first-time mom and I'm just winging all this so um Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next week. Love you. Bye.